He said, I can't breathe. Listen to me and listen to me clearly. If you watch that and you say nothing and you stay silent, I want you to be a hundred percent clear that you are at the core of the problem. You're not just part of it. All right, you are listening to another episode of Just Do the Damn Thing. Man, I'm glad you're here. This is not easy for me. This is so hard. It took me like a moment just to pull myself together because I literally, I literally 100%, I said to myself this morning, white people of personal development, where the hell are you? Where are you? You know, I've been upset about a lot of things in my lifetime, for sure. Absolutely. And when you think about building a business to getting to the next level, every type of next level or creativity or next layer comes from a place that makes us pissed off. Today, I find myself angry. I watched closely and intently at certain social media accounts, at certain people who are supposedly the godfather of personal development, the core of peak performance, the utter essence of what it means to do things with ease, step into the next version of ourselves, build businesses, build ourselves, claim our values, tap into spirituality. I've watched into everyone who's white. And I can't even begin to tell you the disappointment that I felt account after account, page after the a page, and there was radio silence. Having to look at the truth, that actual core truth, that they were silent, but they weren't just silent, but that they weren't silent by choice and that they chose to be silent. I was like, really? Because what came to me was this fact that they stay silent because they can. And you reminded me 100% that I can't. What makes me sick is thinking about how many stages and thousands, tens of thousands of people you stood in front of and you talk and teach about love and, and, and connection and you teach about frequency and energy. And then you walk through the ability to have a strong mindset and uh, look forward and to be strong and to tap into. And then you talk about the world healing for crying out loud. You talk about the world healing. You talk about me healing. You talk about everyone else healing. You walk through your own supposed healing. And then before I blink, you're off stage. You're somewhere in Africa building some schools for black children. And then you show the pictures on your Instagram on that page where we now all believe that you're a great human. You're an awesome flipping human. How the hell are you going to go take care of another home and you don't even participate in the home that you and I both live in? Really? How can you be the core of personal development but you're not at the forefront of developing the number one problem here in the United States. Or do you just say to yourself, you know what, Tiffany, it's not a problem for me and it's not a people a problem for the people I serve. Because they're at this point, there is nothing that I face more in building this business, building the brand that I run, fighting for the do the damn thing nation community than the color of skin. I'm literally beyond myself trying to process the fact that you've made a choice to stay silent, but you're still willing to take a dollar from a black person. So you're willing to fight for me when it hits your bottom line. You're willing to step to the plate when it hits your bottom line. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You don't want to get involved. Got it. Cause that's not your husband. That's not your circle of friends. That's the truth. It's not your child, so it doesn't impact you. That's their problem, right? To anyone who can hear my voice right now, I want to make it so clear. You are either part of 
the problem or you're part of the solution and you have to make a choice. There is no such thing as the middle. It is the most delusional state ever. You can't sort of do something. You're either doing the damn thing or you're not. What's 100% clear for me? If I make the same choice as so many other people who look like me, and I know why they make the choice, they make the choice to stay silent because they're like, Tiffany, we've gotten to this place in life. We finally got in. We got into that network. We got into that community. We got into that income bracket. We got into that neighborhood, whatever it might be. We're now being hired all the time or we have X amount of clients. I'm not going to talk about that stuff. I'm not going to jeopardize my new or my deep white friendships. And it's like, so you'd rather protect your friendships than to give me the chance at life? And when I use the word me, I don't necessarily mean Tiffany Largy. I mean, for anyone who looks like me, how can you teach your children or the people that you care about love and you truly are not fighting for all? Now, it'd be one thing if you didn't know, but you're sitting on list right now. You have millions and millions of followers. You have hundreds of thousands of followers. You have hundreds of thousands of people on your mailing list. You have their phone numbers. You'll text them to tell them about the brand new funnel you created. You'll text them to talk about the brand new episode of a podcast or your YouTube video. You'll text them to tell them, hey, it's okay. I, I, I know how to help you clear your mind in tough times. You'll totally talk about COVID-19. Oh my God, will you talk about COVID-19? As there are riots around the death of George Floyd right now at this very moment. There are deaths. There are people in pain. They're not just in pain because of George Floyd. They're in pain because of what happened to to their friend, brother, cousin, uncle last week, last year, last decade, a century ago. That pain runs so deep. And they have to live with that pain and then still fight just to survive. They have to carry that pain. And then they have to live it. Do you know what it's like to walk outside and just be afraid because of what you look like? It's a scary way to live. It's a crazy, scary way to live. You spend a ton of time with your team creating the perfect launch. You spend a ton of time with your team talking about new products, new ways you want to solve problems. I know because I do the same with my team. But I'll tell you, I spend equally as much time talking about the social problems in the U.S., talking about the problems around the world and looking at how to solve them. But the difference between me and you, I'm, it's okay for me to lose followers. And I don't have nearly, at least at this moment, I don't have the size of a platform that you have. But if I am afraid, then the people who look up to me, they stay afraid. If I stay afraid, if, if I don't, speak up and get to the front line. And and I want you to be I want us to be on the same page. Like don't think for a second that speaking up is you putting up an Instagram post that says racism is bad. That's not enough. Why if the white person who's willing to get angry, the white person who's willing to get angry, create their own ad Take that talk amongst other white people. Be just as enraged as when they hear that story about a woman who dot, 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 a child who dot, dot, dot. You have the power and you choose not to. And I don't know why. You have the power to and you choose not to. And it says a lot. You have the power to and you choose not to. It scares me. I've made a decision for myself and I've made a decision as of today because I won't accept the fact that you're the person that we need to follow. There's no way. If you're going to be the thought leader in personal development, if you're going to be amongst the top five, top 10, top 20, whatever, and you 
actually don't have this on your radar, it is not part of the way you're trying to develop the actual person or people that you serve, then you can't be the person that we should be following. There's no way. So I say to you, go ahead and stay silent. Go ahead and protect your money. I should actually silently say thank you because because of you, I've identified a brand new problem that I want to solve. Dear white people of personal development and anyone else who claims to lead in love, where the hell are you? There are so many things that you can actually do. I want to see you do something. I want to see you take action. And it's not really like take up a torch. I want to see you fight. Because, man, can you imagine what would happen if we all fought together? Can you imagine what would happen if we all fought together? Can you imagine if you could, if what would happen if you brought your 10 million followers and he brought his 19 million and she brought her six? Can you imagine what would happen the same way you cross promote, enlist, and have JV partnerships if you did the same thing around this issue? It's not okay for you to ignore me. It's not okay. And I say me. And I speak on behalf of everybody who looks like me, who is facing some version of feeling not enough in the U.S. Not feeling enough and then trying to do your best is crazy. It's like an oxymoron all in itself. Not doing your best is not a result of you not working hard enough. It's like it's kind of hard to get to the top when you're constantly being beat down. But forget the cards that you and I both share. We both have life cards. We have things, we have people in our family who pass away. We have people in our family who are, it's not going so well. We wake up one day and we get bad news. We both have had a tire that has blown. We've got, maybe we get in a car accident. We find out we have cancer. Those are, those are life things that we're going through. But I have a thick layer on top of all of that every single day. And the black man in this country has an even thicker layer. People are scared of black men for no reason. You know, my husband's been pulled over six times. I mean, he's been pulled over six times by a police officer and and my husband wouldn't even hurt a fly. He's so harmless. And the first two times, I actually didn't even know why we were being pulled over. My husband did know. He knew. I remember him saying to me silently, he was like, shh, Tiffany, please, 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 please don't say anything. And it was a very raw moment for me because I... I'm from Miami, Florida. We have social economics. And I automatically was like, well, why are you pulling us over? I can't believe it. This, that, and third, blah, 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 blah. And lo and behold, lo and behold, he looks at me one last time. And as the police officer is walking to his side of the car, and he's like, Tiffany, please stop. And the seriousness of his voice, it really made me, you know, I didn't agree with it and I didn't understand, but I definitely got quiet because I was like, something is happening here. And I don't understand, but I'm going to trust what he's saying. And I watch him mechanically, very different from how I would respond. You know, say, hi, officer. Why are you pulling us over? Blah, 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 blah. And the officer was saying complete foolishness. As far as I'm concerned, absolute absurd foolishness. It was complete stupidity. He's trying to make up something as to why he pulled us over. and, And none of it was real. None of it was real. We hadn't been speeding. We didn't run a red light. We didn't make an illegal turn. We don't have a broken tail light. There's no reason. There is zero reason whatsoever other than the fact that we live in North Carolina. That's the reason. The second time it happened, the third time it happened. But boy, the third, fourth time it happened and he had to get out of our car and then go sit in the back seat of, a, of the police car while I sat there, I damn near lost my mind. because. It was the first moment where I could feel the truth of his fear, but he wasn't afraid of being arrested. He was afraid of being killed. I could feel the weight of my fear at that moment because I didn't understand, but I did understand. And the truth of what I was understanding made my skin crawl because it was something, it's like, it's like being punished, being punished for not doing anything wrong. White people of personal development, Where are you? 
Where are you? To the person who's listening and says to themselves, am I in the middle or am I not? I'll ask, I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. But I will say this. If you are following a person today, if you are spending money with a person today, if you're in their Facebook group, if you attend their live events, and this is not number one or in the top two or three on their radar of something you hear them talk about, racism in the U.S., I'm telling you that they are part of the problem and most likely at the very core of it because their willingness to ignore it and step over it gives their followers the okay and the permission to continue to ignore it as they have for so long. It gives them the permission to overlook it, to turn the other eye, to change the channel because they can. But guess what? I can't. I can't turn the station. I can't turn it off. I can't stop listening to it because I'm living it. The fact that they make a choice, that they make a choice not to truly tap into the highest version of themselves, which means that they are really leading with love, love for all people, concern for all people, desire to win for all people. That's the kind of follower you want to follow. That's the kind of follower, that's the kind of leader you want to follow. That's the kind of leader you want to follow. You know, I said I tripped up and I said the word follower three times because in my head I'm thinking to myself, those people are not even leaders. They're just followers of each other. And that's why they figure out how to make that closed system work. But it's time, not only is it time for new leaders, but for sure, for sure, actually it's time for new thought leaders in personal development who can really actually personally develop the nation. But in addition to that, it's time for you to make a choice because only when you make a choice, you'll stop cycling and almost getting there and you'll finally start to win. I know that this was not an easy topic. There's no way that I couldn't, we couldn't talk about it. You know what I mean? Like there's no way we have to talk about it. We actually have to keep talking about it. I don't know where you are in your business. I don't know where you are in your life. I don't know what that next step is for you, but I do know one thing. At Do The Damn Thing Nation, there's a home for you. There is a home for you. And we want you to come and find us and hang out with us. You would head to Do The Damn Thing Nation on Facebook. Outside of this, you can totally join our email list, dreamerswantedhere.com. I would absolutely love for you to, wherever you're listening to this, to hit reply, send me an email, jump on social media, find me on Instagram or on Facebook or LinkedIn at Tiffany Largy and send me a note. I want to know how this made you feel. I want to know what actions you're going to take. Do something. Inside of our Do the Damn Thing Nation, we have an, I've created an entire list, almost like a guide of how do you get more involved. And, and this is not about you becoming an activist or changing your whole life. No, this is about you doing the right thing. Regardless of whether you think you are or you aren't, you are. We're all involved. And even if you listen to this and you're like, I hate you, it doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that you're involved too, because you're going to be part of the problem that, <laughs> that I continue to solve, right? But in some aspects, what I beg you is that you don't listen to this and don't do anything. I need you. And if you are part of Do The Damn Thing Nation, let me tell you this, I need you to get stronger. The reason why I need you to grow your business is solely so that you have more resources, tool, and access to fight. Because the bigger the business the stronger your weapons. It's just that simple. Man, have I told you how glad I am that you're here? Like, real talk, have I flipped and told you how glad I am that you are here, you have listened? This is the part of the show where I say, go follow us, go find us, go follow us, go stalk us, but just make sure that we're connected. Head to do the damn thing TV, do the damn thing life, or just go hang out on tiffanylargy.com. If we are not friends on Facebook, if you have not liked our Instagram page, go do that because you're going to want to see what we're doing, how we're doing, and how we're doing the damn thing daily. 